tabs or spaces. Choose wisely. Your friendship might depend on it. But have you ever wondered how something as simple as white space become one of programming's greatest controversies? Back in the typewriter days, yes, those ancient machines before VS Code and Veeam, alignment mean physically spacing letters and characters to look neat on the page. Typewriters had a mechanical tabulator bar, a lever or button that would jump the carriage to the predefined positions along the page. These were called top stops, and they helped people line things up neatly like columns in a table or ident for paragraphs. When computers came along and emulated typewriter functions, the top key stuck around and programmers started using it to indent code. Voila! The top was born in software, still jumping us to those neat little aligned spots. The top key was originally meant to jump the cursor to preset mechanical stops, not insert a character. So using it for code, this was a bit of hack from day one. But how did this practical formatting choice evolve into the text world's equivalent of pineapple on pizza? Pineapple does go on pizza! No! <laughs> no! Back in the 70s and 80s, as people started agreeing on how code should look, programmers picked their favorite side. Tabs allowed customizable width, adapting instantly to any developer's preference. Space offered consistency across all editors, no surprises when open code anywhere. The argument kept growing, quietly spreading in through offices everywhere. If you ever want to watch a peaceful developer meeting go full on gladiator battle, cosily bring up your preference for four spaces. Just trust me. <coughs> Mixing tabs and spaces in your code is like building a Lego tower with both Legos and Jenga blocks. It might look fine on your screen until someone else opens it and the whole thing falls apart. Tabs and spaces are invisible, but they are not treated the same way by all editors. One dev sees a neat indent, another sees a weird broken mess. Suddenly, your beautifully formatted function looks like a ransom note. Even worse, open a git div and suddenly it looks like you rewrote the whole file when all you did was fix an if statement. Why? Because your top settings are different from someone else, the div explodes with meaningless changes and your pull request looks like a crime scene. So yeah, pick up one and stick with it, or prepare for passive-aggressive code reviews, mysterious misalignments and possibly a tiny rubber duck judge. Many, many years ago, when I joined my first team, I unknowingly pushed a comment that mixed tops and spaces. The next day I came in to find a rubber duck sitting on my keyboard, wearing a tiny judge wig. Next to it, a sticky note, you've been sentenced for a white space misconduct. I didn't touch the keyboard for an hour, I just sat there reflecting. Fast forward to today, and tabs vs spaces has become more than just formatting, it's practically identity politics for developers. Remember this scene in Silicon Valley, where Richard argues with his girlfriend because she used spaces instead of tabs? We haven't even slept together. And guess what? It's never gonna happen now, because there's no way I'm gonna be with someone who uses spaces over tabs. Goodbye. Yeah, he literally couldn't let it go, and the relationship crashed harder than a fully handled null pointer. Real developers watched that and thought, yeah, I've had that argument, maybe not out loud, but definitely in my soul. So next time someone asks tops or spaces, remember, it's not just for Martin, it's a lifestyle choice. And whichever side you're on, we can all agree on one thing, never mix the two, ever. Seriously, don't do it. It's like wearing socks with sandals, but worse. Like, subscribe and comment your white space allegiance below. Are you team tops or team spaces? Or are you that brave soul who writes code in one line just to watch the world burn? Until next time, happy coding and stay in tech!